tonight with the surprise resignation of Watsonville City Councilman Oscar Rios. Rios made the announcement today amid claims of misconduct dating back decades. City manager says they became aware of the claims just this morning. Tonight we are hearing from one of the women who've come forward. Action News reporter Sierra Starks is live with our top story. Yeah, good evening, Erin. When I spoke with that woman who came forward, she told me she didn't come forward to uh, sue the city or anything like that. She said she came forward just to share her story in hopes that anyone who's experienced something similar will share theirs as well. Watsonville City Councilman Oscar Rios resigning Monday afternoon after two women came forward accusing him of sexual assault. The allegations from Cherie Tang and Liz Bean date back 30 years, but to Tang, the memories are still vivid. Tang says she and Rios worked closely together during the cannery workers' strike in Watsonville. It was work that required them to travel and work where Rios showed a different side of himself to her. During a lot of those drives, he would grope me, he would put his hands down my pants, just very, very molesting behavior. And he um, would masturbate and ejaculate on me. Tang says she stayed silent for decades out of fear. She says the stories of the Me Too movement have encouraged her to share hers as well. Oscar had that kind of influence and invisible power that trapped me like the way it trapped them. Mr. Rios declined an on-camera interview but did give us this statement in response to the allegations against him saying quote many years ago I engaged in behavior that upon reflection was inappropriate. I am deeply sorry to hear that my conduct has caused pain and anger to demonstrably good people. Rios goes on to say, I will do what I can to support their healing. And for that reason, he has made the decision to resign from the Watsonville City Council. Now, two important things to note. These allegations did not take place while Mr. Rios was in office and neither of the women who've come forward uh, live in Watsonville. Dan and Aaron. All right, Sierra, thank you. Watsonville city manager says because of the nature of the allegations, the case has been referred to law enforcement for further investigation.